we need to find the derivative of 10 raised to the power of log of sine x with respect to x. So we will begin by considering y to be equals to 10 raised to the power of log of sine x. So let's label this as equation number 1. So we will find out the derivative with respect to x by using logarithmic differentiation. For that, what we have to do is take the natural log on both sides. So we have log of y equals to log of 10 raised to the power of log of sine x. Now here we can use the property of logarithm. That is, if we have log of a raised to the power of b, that that's equals to b times log of a. That means we now have log of y equals to log of sine x multiplied to log of 10. Right. Now what we'll do, we'll take the logarithm uh, derivative on both sides with respect to x. So we have d dx of log y. That will be equals to here 10 is a constant log 10 so we have log of 10 multiplied to derivative with respect to x of log of sine x fine now we know that derivative of the logarithmic function so we have ddx of log x that's given by 1 over x now in our case we have derivative of log of y so this will be 1 over y but since here we have a y with so we'll have to use the chain rule and multiply it to derivative of y with respect to x. So this is equals to log 10. Multiply it to, now we have derivative of log of sine x. So this will give us 1 over sine x. But since we have a sine x here instead of an x, so we'll multiply it to derivative with respect to x of sine x. And so now we will have 1 over y multiply to derivative of y with respect to x equals to natural log of 10 divided by sine x, we have derivative of sine x, which is the cosine function. This gives us derivative of y with respect to x. So we're going to cross multiply y to the expression on the right hand side. So this will be y multiplied to log of 10. Now we have we have a ratio cosine of a sine. This is the cotangent function. Now we'll finally replace the value of y with 10 raised to the power of log of sine x. So this gives us derivative with respect to x of 10 raised to the power of log of sine x but this value will be equals to 10 raised to the power of natural log of sine x multiplied to natural log of 10 multiplied to cotangent of x so this is the value of the required derivative